We're trying to find the service area of this curve for square root x. And we have our surface area formula. There's a few things we need to get. We need to take the derivative of that, then square it, then add one, then take square root. So let's go ahead and call this f of x. So that's four x to the one half power. We do need to take the derivative now. So derivative four times a half is two x to the negative one half power, which is two over square root x. All right, let's go ahead and do one plus this squared. One plus f prime, we're squaring f prime. So it's one plus this squared, so that's four over x. And I think we're probably ready to load up the whole function now. So I'm just rewriting this in the original form. fx square root one plus f prime x squared dx. Okay, we can put in most of this now. Uh, we are told a and b right here. They're beginning and ending x values. Now it's annoying that they're decimals, so just write those in 2.6, 3.6. All right, f of x is at the top here, four x to the one half, or four square root x. And now copy down the one plus f prime squared. It's going inside the square root. All right, oh, there should be a x inside that little square root, not a two. All right, how in the world to integrate this? Uh, let's, I can't think of a calculus thing to do, so let's distribute the square root uh, x inside the big square root. And when that happens, uh, it's x times one is x, 4 over x times x is 4. Again, what I did here, this is a, a to the b times c to the b. If you multiply these together, so it only works with multiplication, you can write it as ac whole thing to the b power. So that's all I did, where b is a 1 half power or a square root here. All right, the 4 is a constant. It's going to move outside. 8 pi integral. Oh, and I totally put these in the wrong order. And what would happen if I continued with this mistake? If this is the only mistake I made, I would get negative the answer I was looking for. 2.6, 3.6. Okay, so that is basically the answer to this first question right here. They want the service area integral. But if you look, they wrote it just as f of x. Uh, so what they're actually describing is take away the integral, but it's all the function part right here. Uh, so they want to know what function would we integrate from 2.6 to 3.6 to get the service area. And the answer is 8 pi square root x plus 4. And hopefully... When I uncover this, I get the same thing. Yes, so remember, 4 squared 16 over 4 is 4. All right, so that's the same thing. On your homeworks, uh, you can't do this on a quiz or test, but on your homeworks, you can answer one part of a question, and it will tell you right or wrong, and doesn't count, doesn't take away from your attempts on the other parts. All right, integrating this, how do we do that? We need a u sub u is x plus 4, du is just 1 dx. I'm going to leave the endpoints off of here. So it's square root u, du. I'm going to change everything back to x's and then write the original endpoints. You, of course, could change the endpoints. All you would do here is add 4 to each one. Super easy to do. On this, uh, sometimes changing variables is much more annoying to change your endpoints. Uh, but how do we integrate this? Well, we're going to use the anti-power rule. 
So this is a u to a one half power. So add one to that. That's u to the three halves power times the reciprocal two thirds. Still have the eight pi. Uh, not going to write endpoints until we unsubstitute eight times two sixteen pi over three. Uh, u is x plus four to the three halves power. Now we write our endpoints. And plugging these in, everything's multiplied by 16 pi over 3. All right, 3.6 plus 4 is 7.6 to the 3 halves, minus 2.6 plus 4 is 6.6 .6 to the 3 halves. All right, if... Uh, I was doing all this by hand, this is how I would leave it. Uh, when I uncover the answer, it's gonna be a decimal. So let's get out a calculator. Probably should have done this beforehand, but it's all right. All right, 7.6 raised to, all right, I'm using a 1.5 here because I don't wanna type three divided by two. Oh boy, you know, we're going to use a Desmos calculator. Uh, that I found much easier to use. All right, the scientific calculator, not graphing. All right, this will let me type everything in at one time. And if I scroll a little bit, I can get everything on the screen that I need. All right. 16 pi over 3, double parentheses, 7.6, probably didn't need that parenthesis, uh, raised to, uh, I'll still use the 1.5 power here, minus 6.6 .6 raised to the 1.5, close parentheses, enter, 66.95, something something and there we go all right that is what we were looking for okay now if I was actually type my answer in I would type in this answer right here just to be safe uh, yeah, I am on a computer it's easy to copy and paste this uh, into the box on my open math but uh, if you're on your phone and you're doing this on your computer or something like that you may copy one of these digits down wrong or uh, cause a problem like that